Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome to my table. Welcome to my part of the woods, my little spot on YouTube, my little corner. YouTube gives you as big enough space as a room. <laughs> Anything after that's on you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Guys, this is for the collective. As always, it's going to be a love message. I am using the gilded Lenormand, um, but I'm going to use the book because I don't know these images. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's see what's coming towards the collective spirit when it comes to love. If you're already in the connection with your person, where is it headed, right? If you're hoping for a person, where is it headed? If you're connected energetically to a person, where is it headed? Are you wasting your time? Where is it headed, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's get it. Let's go. For the collective. So we got what looks to be the sun card. It's a 31. So guys, I'm just going to lay out a few cards the top, and then we're going to read what the story says, okay? So we got a sun. We got number 43. It looks like you're in a garden there. It looks like um, maybe you're trying to get to the end of the garden. That's what it looks like. Maybe you're trying to get to the end. You like Maybe there's blockages in the way. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else is coming towards you? In regards to this love thing. Already in the connection. Where's it headed? Where is it going? Right? What's this love thing all about? Spirit. All right. So there's some mice. A whole bunch of mice. And some fruit. I look like people talking, gossiping. Everybody talking. Everybody talking about this love thing, right? Don't worry, guys. I'll get to the bottom of it. There's a book. There's a book there, Spirit says. Oh, and there's a man, 28. It's a beautiful man, too. Lord have mercy on his soul. Lord have mercy on that chest. Do you not see the chest on that man? We have a chest here, guys. We have a chest on the table. <laughs> I don't see no man. I see a chest. So your man probably got a really nice chest. Maybe you told him so. Okay. Here we go, guys. What is that? That's a wishing well. Maybe your wishes are coming true. Maybe that man with the chest. Maybe the chest. I'm going to call him the chest. Maybe the chest is wishful thinking, right? I mean, it's that one more period. I'm going to do six across. And then we're going to dig in. This one's spinning. All right, guys. And then we got number 12. It looks like um, hummingbirds. All right. So we have 31, 43, 23, 28, 41, and 12, if those numbers resonate. And now we're going to get the gilded book. And we're going to go with it, guys. We're going to see what's going on, what's happening between you and your person, what's coming your way. Number 31 is the sun, guys. So we have the sun here. It says, I am success. Hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma. I boost your confidence and courage. I bring victory and glory. But be careful not to get too cocky or you will be burned by arrogance like Icarus, right? So the sun shines and makes everything under its light grows. The card around this card in a reading will be well aspected and it bodes well at the end of the line of cards too. The light that shines from this card is energizing and revitalizing in nature. It can also signify confidence to step out into the light by engaging with a project or taking a new direction. So guys, you're either headed in a new direction, you're working on a new project, whatever it is, it's looking glorious. But spirit says, don't get beside yourself, guys. Don't get too cocky, right? Don't get too cocky because the same way the sun will shine, it can fade, right? It can go down at the end of the day. So Spirit said don't get too cocky, right? So then we go to 43. Spirit said don't get too cocky. 43 is the labyrinth. Labyrinth, right? That's that. So it says, when you think you've done everything you can, you hit a wall and have to start again. I am the labyrinth that keeps you going through trials and error to the end. There are no shortcuts to success, my friend. This card is about making your way through a confusing stream of events, often by trial and error. You may have goals and destinations you wish to reach, but getting there may prove more difficult than you expected. Your road isn't a direct one, but it has twists and turns. No matter how much you plan and strategize, at some point you will face inevitable mistakes. Be prepared for a few false turns and dead ends. 
The labyrinth card directs you to retrace your steps if necessary and take a different route. Sometimes there simply is no direct path. Regrouping and restarting again is not a failure. It's all part of the process. Even when you feel you are starting back at square one, you will be able to begin again with new information and greater knowledge of the landscape, right? This can mean that there's a puzzle or problem requiring rational deduction to solve. There are no easy ways to this answer shortcuts. A narrow viewpoint will keep you from seeing the larger picture. You should also notice that this card shows more than one person. It is a message that you are not going down this road alone. Others are facing the same challenges and may be able to help you work out a solution. This card might also illustrate your frustration attempting to connect with others. Something is keeping you separate from people or goals. Now is not the time to turn your bike back on them. As you calculate your next move, think about just how you can get ahead of individually, but how you can contribute to the group solutions. All right, guys, so you're trying to get to something and there's gonna be some blockages in your way and there's gonna be some obstacles, right? And there's gonna be some people in your way, right? And that's why Spirit said, don't get too cocky. Now, this is the mice, number 23, mice. It says, you don't want me in your house, guys. You don't want me in your blouse. I bring loss, right? I bring loss. I bring theft with destruction and decay. I am your stress and anxiety. I am the worry in society. I am your nuisance. I am your pest. I bring sickness to your nest. These mice are completely happy with their work, the gradual destruction of possessions and resources. They're busy nibbling at a cloth and fruit and at bread. They appear to have no regard for ownership and are rapidly gnawing away while no one is looking. These mice are symbolic of loss, either a gradual whittling away of one's savings combined with the fish, 34, number 34, 34 here is not, <clears throat> or actual theft, guys. Their presence brings into a reading of a bite-sized effect, something happening in little chunks. This is not to say it is not a powerful card. These mice may be delightful, but not when found in your own kitchen. They are the niggling aspects of life where there is an issue, something that has become a pest in your life and will just not go away and leave you alone. It leaves your mind troubled. This card also advises you to take care of your possessions. The mice of the Lenormand are terrible hoarders and are often likely to represent theft, guys. So you may have some thieves around you, but the card said this person, just like a mice, this person is taking from you little by little by little by little by little. You don't realize it until all of a sudden you realize you've given so much of yourself, so much of your money, and you you're not getting anything back. So there's a thief around you guys, probably not necessarily sticking and reaching in your purse, but they're stealing from you in other ways. Guys, figure out what way that is. They can always be asking for something. You can always be constantly giving, like whatever, 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 whatever. Pay attention to it, guys. And then that takes us to the number 28, which is that man there, that sexy man, that chest. Okay. It says... I could be the reader or the male subject of your reading or the male partner of your significator. An elegant looking man sits upon a chair holding a red rose. He appears to be awaiting. Wait a minute. Okay, there's, there's a man and then there's a man too. The first man says... He's holding a rose. This one isn't holding a rose. So that's not that one. It says, I could be you, the reader, or a significant male partner. This optional man, the second man card in the reverie, might be used to provide a specific reference for a reading or serve for a same-sex relationship or provide a choice that might better represent the personality of the male subject of the reading. In the second version, a strong-looking man wears a red cloak. Yep, that's him. His bare chest showing a masculine Mars symbol on a pendant. He looks to the right of the card and appears determined and passionate. The card is lit with a golden background that communicates essential power. So it looks like this man is trying to come forward, but there's a thief. There could be a thief around this man. There's a thief around him that's taken from him little by little by little by little. And that's why he can't move on. He can't get to where he's trying to get to. 
because there's so many people in the way that's nibbling away at this masculine, right? Number 41. Number 41 looks like a wishing well, but I'll tell you what it is in a minute. It is a well. It goes, I have many symbolic meanings, wishes, resources, creativity, and healing. If you look intently into the depth of my darkness, you may see your true thoughts reflected and your secret wishes revealed. But your wishes will only be granted if you dig deep and work hard. The well card is about looking deeper into an issue. You may think you know all the facts about that there is, but there may be more to the story you are not seeing. The image suggests hidden depths, hidden secrets. Re-entering the well represents the importance of keeping one center. At a deeper level, the card could be a sign that you have hit rock bottom and now the only way is up. If other nearby cards indicate that you've been facing difficulties, it is now time for healing. Be prepared to work hard that your wishes can not come true. This card also refers to a goal that is attainable but still requires more effort. This card can also bring unexpected luck and reminds you that you have to have a plan and work hard for your rewards. All right, guys. So this masculine, you are his wish. Masculine's trying to move on because he has the sun here. So masculine wants bigger and greater things. But every time he tries to go forward, all these obstacles are in the way. But what masculine don't know is whatever he's currently doing, these people here are constantly nibbling away at him as finances, taking, stealing whatever they can steal from him. So this masculine is being hopeful, guys. He's been hopeful. He's trying to move forward. And then that takes us to number 12. Takes us to 12. And those are the birds. A phone call, a text, a date. This is how I communicate. I am in meetings and interviews. I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, lover, or mate. Couples is what I indicate. This card is symbolic of a jabber, gossip, or the passing of information of a positive kind. So this masculine can be talking about you positively. This could be an announcement. It could be some, about travel, something happening quickly, guys. This is kind of like the writer card. So your masculine is telling people he's making movement towards you guys, like he's gossiping and he's telling people. But spirit tells him here in the beginning here, don't get too cocky. So your masculine is coming forward, guys. But whatever he's trying to get away from, there's thieves and stuff. There's somebody stealing from your masculine. Your masculine don't see it because they're taking it in little pieces. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Can you clarify this message, Spirit? Can you tell us more? Let me see what's going on here, guys. Yep, masculine is ending a union, guys. He's coming out of a four of wands. And see, and that's where the obstacles are. Those are the obstacles there. Yeah, he's holding himself back. Four pentacles upright. He doesn't want to give to that connection anymore. And this is Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And they are stealing from him. They don't nail him down to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So little by little, he doesn't even realize it, but they're taken from him. It's like it's dripping. Look at all those coins on the floor there. So yeah, somebody's stealing from his mask little by little in, in small doses. So he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it, but eventually it'll come to him. So this person here is walking away. He has a karmic. He has a princess of swords. This person here. Mm -hmm. Nine of pentacles in reverse. He got he lost money there. This nine of pentacles in reverse is stealing from this masculine here. Yep. She's the magician in reverse. She's trying to make sure that this masculine doesn't have anything. So when he does move forward, that's what she's trying to do. So she's taking from him little by little because she can see that he's moving on. She can see he has brighter days and that he ended their union. But she's making sure, she's going to try to make sure that he doesn't have anything going forward, at least financially, right? Sometimes when stuff like that happens, yeah, you'll hurt a person, but God will bless them. And then you're going to be in trouble after that. Yep. Ace of Swords. So this masculine, he is cutting people out, guys. He's cutting out all those obstacles. Five of Cups in reverse. He has no regrets either. He has no regrets because of the way he was treated. It's the chariot in reverse. People are trying to stop him. But what they don't realize is the chariot is not going backwards. So 
or they try to get the master to change his mind, like don't do this. He probably trying to convince them, don't do this. Please don't go, right? You know, this is judgment here. Master was probably waiting on some final answer, guys. And as soon as he got the answer that he needed from, from spirit, he, he took a stand. This is eight of wands. He made a move, guys. It's eight of wands. It's like somebody sent the message to him. Somebody sent in their eagle to him. Masculine got the message. He got the message, guys. And the message is that the court or wherever they went to go see whoever gave his final judgment realized that this masculine does not work well with that person. They don't work well together. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yep. Yeah. So masculine got a thief around him. People were trying to stop the masculine from moving forward. So what they do is they're trying to steal from him little by little. They know he's coming to you. This is Queen of Swords here. And now he could have prayed for this connection, guys. That's temperance in reverse. This masculine, see, that's the seven of swords, guys. He did have some thieves around him. But he's walking away, guys. Masculine is walking away from that connection. Maybe he found out that the person that he was with was a thief. Found out that they were liars. And he's just choosing to walk away. Could be coming back to you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify the seven of swords in reverse. He could be coming back to you. Or to you, period, right? Yep. He's coming in as the Prince of Cups. He sure is. He's coming to you. Offering proposals and love connections like where are we going where are we headed with this right yeah he's coming in strong it's the king of swords he's coming in with his mind made up knowing what he wants to do things were revealed about his past relationship the moon he probably found out you know he saw his reflection he saw his own reflection right and he didn't like what he saw he said this can't be he said this is not me he said you are better than this right he said, you are better than this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Masculine took his love back. Once he found out whatever was revealed in that moon there, he immediately took his love back and ended it. He wants new beginnings. Masculine wants new beginnings. And three of wands in reverse, he's not waiting for the connection that he was currently in, he's not waiting for it to fix itself. He like he knows that that's possibly over. It's over. Yeah, he said those days are over. Yep, it's over with this Queen of Cups in reverse. This unloving person, somebody who's probably been hurt so many times that you become unloving. You know. Here comes the Knight of Pentacles. He's he's making a move, guys. He's taking his time, but he's coming in. He's not feeling very strong, but he's coming in, guys. He knows it's going to take strength for him to move on. Any final words, spirit? It's going to take strength, but he's going to do it. He said, I'm not a wuss. I'm not going to, I'm not a wuss. So he wants this change, guys. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Masculine is ready for this change. So he put an ending to it. Whatever he was in, he put an ending to it. He sure did. And now he wants a new partnership. Two of Wands. Can't make it up. Masculine's tired of fighting. Five of Wands. He's being persistent. Masculine's moving on. And he healed his heart. Three of Swords in reverse. He is healing his heart. He's coming back to you guys. He's leaving someone for you. Four of Cups in reverse. He's leaving a situation for you. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it here. This is your reading. Masculine has someone around him. Because Masculine's trying to move on. But Spirit told him to stay calm, you know, stay peaceful, don't get all too cocky or whatever. But there's a lot of people in the way. Look, there's all those people in the way. That's probably you sitting up in that house. He's trying to get to you, but it's all the other people in the way. And those people are stealing from the Masculine. It's probably hard for him to tell because they're mice. So there's taking, they're taking, 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 and they're nibbling a little, 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 little at a time. But... Your masculine is moving forward nonetheless. So, he's stepping out on faith, guys, right? He's stepping out on faith, and there's some people trying to stop him. 
So this is your reading, guys. Uh, I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.